What are you doing outside this late? A cutting of Catala Sparata. That way, we won't have to walk to reach remote islets. When did we ever walk to go somewhere? Manner of speaking. You can nitpick, or you can help me out. What do I need to do? Give it a little love. The apple brew is ready! So what are we waiting for? That's a whole lot better than Kinovision, isn't it? You're right. But I still find it a little uneventful. That's harsh. When the sun just disappeared beyond the horizon, that was quite a twist. <laughs> Do you think the sun will rise tomorrow? Or is the world going to descend in darkness? A real cliffhanger. Pass me the bottle instead of talking blute. I think it's empty. Ugh, blute. Hmm. I still can't believe we made it. Well, it wasn't a big bottle or anything. I meant we made it here, on Source. <laughs> yeah, the odds weren't in our favor. Hmm. You mean you would have bet against yourself? Considering the general condition of the ship, the meshing of the patrols, and the distance we had to go? Definitely. So, why did you agree to follow me here? Because you asked me to. What? Did I say something wrong? No, no. <sighs> is your chair comfortable? Why? Mine is a bit big, just for myself. Come sit. Mm. Do you regret it? What? Following me? Why would I regret that? Just look at this sky. Look at us. What is there to regret? I don't know. The people? Don't you miss that? Seeing people? Honestly? No. I did have friends and colleagues. When we left the apiary, at first, I thought I would miss them. I thought that after a while, I would feel a void. I need to see them again. But that hasn't happened yet. Actually, I consider myself pretty lucky to have you. Asking for more would seem egotistical or ungrateful. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I should be telling you these things. Or else you'll end up realizing that I don't deserve you. Do you really think that? Should I? Of course not. Are you crazy? You're the best person I know. I'm the one who doesn't deserve you. You're also the best person I know. You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. Is it really a good idea to go out at night? No, you're right. Lights off? Yeah. Maybe the Hornets will have a harder time finding us in the dark. That's not funny. I wasn't trying to be funny. I'm sorry to be a downer, but... I can't stop thinking about what they would do if they caught us. The Hornets? No. The Hornets will just neutralize us. I meant the apiary. They'll split us apart. Match us with our respective mates. And how will they achieve that? By force? Have you ever seen anyone fight back during their matching ceremony? We can't be the only ones who've refused our mates, can we? What do you mean? Have you ever heard about recalibrating? Oh no, not this old wives' tale about brainwashing. I never said it was brainwashing. Just erasing selected bits of memory. 
Do you really believe in that stuff? No, but I can't help but wonder, what if it were true? I mean, it is conceivable, isn't it? Don't they erase some memories in trauma therapy? Why wouldn't the council apply that to other uses? Such as? Well, for instance, they could erase the memories we have of each other. That way, we'd be a lot more amenable to the matchmaking process. <sighs> in trauma therapy, they erase very specific, very short memories of events. I don't think you could erase all of the memories of one person that way. That would erase entire years in a person's life. And do you think we're technically unable to, or morally unwilling to? Uh, I was trying to get some sleep, you. Well, too bad. There's no reason I should be the only sleepless one. I guess I take these automatically. Is there any way I can help? Nope, I'm almost done. Okay, but after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we'll have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? Yes. We wait. Uh, I've never been very good at that. Can you wait in my place? I'm giving you my share of wait. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know when I'm done.
Did you hear that? No. I'm getting paranoid. time. Ready to go. <gasps> Thank you, Burble. I didn't think I would ever see one again. Why? Are they rare? More than rare. No one has ever been able to grow them in the apiary. I had a chance to study them once. Our lab almost went bankrupt trying to procure some. Huh. And what's so special about them? Everything. No one seems to understand how these plants work. They don't require nutrients. Apparently, nothing that allows for photosynthesis. Actually, to be exact, I shouldn't even be calling it a plant. So like what? Are they animals? Because I'm telling you right now that I don't eat animals. No, they're not animals. And who said anything about eating them anyway? I don't know. That being said, can you eat them? Somehow I don't believe that was a priority question steak. for biologists. What? Biologists are... don't eat? <sighs> yes, you can eat it. But it's not very good. It's acrid. Oh. I guess I could have figured that out. On the other hand, it has outstanding medicinal qualities. We were able to observe some amphibians feeding on it in order to regrow their lost limbs. What? That is awesome! <laughs> I doubt it would work for us. But it probably wouldn't hurt us. for later? Of course. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. If 
feels even crazier with your eyes. Ha! Look who's acting shot. I wouldn't call. This might be a good time to test the capsules that we put together. First, you'll have to explain to me how they work. It's easy. First, you load up the capsule with flow. Then, you just need to activate it. This'll teach him. <sighs> Are you all right? Next time, you'll think twice about eating babies. Ready? Go, go, go! You! I hope you weren't too attached to your teeth. Ugh. Are you all right? Ready when you are. Ready. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> You're not impressing anyone. Does it hurt? Huh? Does it? Hey! You're starting to scare me. Your turn. Yep. Oh, Bloot. One down. Three, two. Ugh. Oh, come on. Ready when you are. Oh. Are you all right? You know what to do. I got this. Now what? There you go. One to go. You? Yep. Saw that. Well done. We're that good. Yeah, that's it. Get out of here. Hope I don't see your face. I'm surprised, Kay. I thought you would start lecturing about the different paths of survival. Chalk it up to the laws of nature. Each one has its place, yada yada yada. Yes, everyone has its place, except the baby eaters. Huh. Well, our friend looks grateful. I'm sure that's the reason she brought us here. All right, then I guess she can bring us back now. Can't we stick around a bit longer? In these swamps? It's a nice change of pace. <sighs> okay, okay. Mm, not bad. Hey, that's for cooking. Come on, lady. Time to bring us home. Funny smell. I can't smell a thing. Low burst. All this rust is starting to feel heavy. Come on, this is not fair. The Omni Impact might even things out. You block. Woo! Oh, Bloot! Here we go! He's right for the. Haha! Uh -oh. Well done! What? Let's do this! Bye bye! Who's next?
Too bad there's no one here to watch us do this. We'll need to wait a little bit for it to grow. landing as always so oh it actually worked <laughs> like I told you love can do miracles that and cutting enhancing hormones now we just need to see if it works verbal <laughs> I knew she could never resist my cooking. All right, shall we go for a ride? Only if Burbel agrees. I think that Burbel will agree to anything if we save a plate for her. Apple brew should be ready by now. Looks like it is. So you need to do the apple brew like immediately when it's. it's There's an uprising in the apiary. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The remaining able bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. I march on the council. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They wanted to put an end to the matchmaker's dictatorship, but they cannot imagine a society without the council. Ugh, Borons! They're wanting to split up. They head for the matchmaker. I forbid them. We need to present a united front if we intend to achieve anything. They hesitate for a moment, but they don't want to risk an internal conflict. So they choose to follow you, but cautiously. The revolutionary mass is very menacing, but internal tensions are still palpable. You finally arrive in front of the Council's palace, but as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of hornet drones who are hiding inside. Blute! The Hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. We press on. Press on! You shout your order, but your voice is drowned out by other shouts. Other self-proclaimed leaders seem to want to take the lead. Integrating the seceded group seems to have heightened the divisions. No one is paying attention to you any longer, nor are they paying attention to anyone else. The Hornets take advantage of the chaos to zoom through your ranks, neutralizing anyone within reach. You feel the end coming. The revolution has been stifled! Suddenly, right under your feet, a trapdoor opens. You see Kay signaling for you to come down. Hey, pretty boy. No time to chat. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatio port where the nest is awaiting you, ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. Kay takes your hand to lead you in. I press his body against mine. After being routed by the hornets, the warmth of his body feels very comforting. Kay lays his hands below your hips 
and presses his lips against yours. I take his t-shirt off. He allows you, then helps take yours off. Your breasts are pressed against his burning chest. Kay puts his hand behind your neck, and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of his saliva, the smell of his sweat. I let him have his way. Kay's lips slide along your cheek. His hand slides along your spine. You can feel his penis rubbing on your stomach. And as Kay sinks his teeth into your neck. Okay, stop. Stop talking. Show me. Let's say there is, in fact, a station on Lanaro. What would you say to my mom? Well, first off, I would ask for explanations about Source, but also about this whole Hornets business. I'm sure the Council has more important things to do than worry about two boring escapees. <laughs> Can you imagine the cost of such an operation? Just for us? It must be a misunderstanding. Considering her ties to the Council, she could probably clear it up. <sighs> What if there is no misunderstanding? Then we're in deep blute. How about we pack a little dish for- Never know, we might- And maybe pack a little something-
It's kind of a regressive dish, isn't it? Hmm? Why'd you say that? Well, it's a lot of fat and carbs. You're usually more fine dining. Hmm. That's true. There's more if you want. Definitely. Cupcake! Cupcake! It's horrible! What's going on, Muffin? The cookie gang has struck again! They're threatening to dump a load of yeast in the cakeful water supply! Oh no! That would mean... Yes! As soon as the citizens taste this water, they will start puffing up! And then they will no longer be able to enter their own homes! We must stop them! This is a mission for... Muffin and Cupcake! Da -da -da -da. Can I play? Not if you're gonna make a mockery of it, no. No, no, for real. I'm bored and you look like you're having fun, so... Okay. You can be Muffin. Have you ever watched the show? No, but I think I get the gist. Okay, so the Cookie Gang is threatening to contaminate Cakeful's water supply. So I get. And we need to stop them. Watching Ooh, a cupcake. baby show. What a nice but dress it's a you bit have. Hard to play for the toys. Uh, it's thank you, crazy. Muffin. I'm wondering what's underneath it. Uh, what are you doing? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, cupcake. There it is. I knew you were just gonna poke fun. No, come on, Kay. Come back. I sincerely wanted to play dolls with you. But Muffin and Cupcake also have emotions, you know. Mm. Oh, Muffin, what is happening to us? I still don't understand why the apiary sent in those hornets. Irena would know. Now let's just hope that there is in fact a way to reach her on Lanaro. Is this it? That was fast. gonna be scarred for life. <laughs> no way.
There's a full moon. There's always a full moon. So? Isn't this the bridge we took to get here? It is. To a rustless world. I hope we didn't do all this for nothing. No way! I'm taking the lead. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. We move in, and the rust clears out. Seed. 
Did you watch my move? No, I was too focused on mine. Did you see it? Uh, no. That was a close one. I think we found a shortcut. I had washed my hair this morning. Bye-bye. Can you see where you're going? Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Circled back. think so. Uh, you feeling better? Uh, too slow. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Oh, come on. Your turn. Oh, yep. On your mark. Ooh, eat it! No. Great job. You're welcome. You? Yep, saw that. Oh, One down. Ready when you are. You. This one's ready. I got this. Oh, oh bloot. Done and done. Three, two, one. Now! He's right for the picking. Harvest! On your mark. Now! You know what to do. Yep. Let's get done. it over with. And done. One to go. Hey! That's cheap! How? He's right for the picking. Harvest time! You? Yep! Saw that! Done and done!
This one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? Have you ever tried hopping on it backward? I wouldn't be here speaking to you if I had tried. Don't turn around, but I think we're being followed. We lost him. Share those. Are you hungry again? Maybe. Honest. Too? Too low. We just got done. And? I'm not cooking again. Oh. understand why the apiary sent in those hornets. Irena would know. Now let's just hope that there is in fact a way to reach her on water. Maybe your last. You keep telling yourself that. You could just do the whole lot. I'll follow your lead. Pacifying his friend. Ready? Go, go, go! It was worth a try. <laughs> On your mark. Go, go, go! Yes! Three, two, one. Now! That didn't seem to bother him much. Cover me. It's kill time. This one's ready. I got this. There you go. Done and done. You? What? Seed. No. Let 
lights are on. Finding anything? No. There's nothing left here, either. Just a bunch of old cardboard boxes. What's in there? Nothing of interest. Scribbled paper, small wooden cubes. What? Let me see. <gasps> this is Alpha Zulu Loom. And all of the expansions. What is it? It's an old board game. The foster home had one. I've always dreamed of playing it. If you had it at home, why didn't you play it? Oh, we played it. But there was a curfew at midnight, and we never got to finish a round. Let alone a whole game. Uh... You know, the people who lived here probably left the game behind for a reason. Yes, so that you and I could get to play it! Here, can you carry the basic game? I'll take the expansions. Here it is, flow. All we had to do was ask. Oh, this one's funny. <laughs> At least it's not trying to attack us for a change. Looks like he's trying to release the flow. I wonder if he'll manage to do it. We'll just wait and see. Very good at it. It doesn't have claws, poor guy. Give him a minute. Oh. Hmm? All right, enough. Uh no, wait. Great. Now it's noticed you. <laughs> okay, party time is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, I get it. Joke time is over. What a missed opportunity. We need to get on the same page. Ready when you are. All set. <laughs> Now's the time to hit him hard. It's bad. He's not as clumsy as he looks. Too soon. Oh Ooh, up here. I'm not feeling too well. We have healing capsules if needed. Too late. How about we load our attacks ahead of time? All set. Go, go, go. Ugh. Are you all right? On your mark. Done. Anytime. Shoot! Now's the time to hit him hard! What a missed opportunity! We need to get on the same page. Too late! How about we load our attacks ahead of time? That's it! Clean, scrubbed, peeled. <laughs> what a turkey! <laughs> More like a big parsnip. You're the big parsnip. Uh... So, what's he doing now? Oh! Wow! Maybe you're not such a turkey after all. Now we know who to call if there are bridges that won't pop out. What are we looking for again? Parts for the nest. Oh yeah, right. Wow. What's up? You won't believe me. What? I just saw a heliga. It passed through the sky, just like that. Whoosh. Uh-huh. See, you 
you don't believe me. I'm sure that you saw something. But I'm guessing what you saw exists, like, in the real world. Hardy har har. I can slow down a bit if you want. I get caught by the hornets? No thanks. place is a wasteland. I'm wondering how this thing is still standing. At least one thing is clear. We're not gonna find anything good in here. Is that so? Then what do you call this? A bunch of crappy old wires? A bunch of admittedly well-loved wires, yes. But they could be functional. Even if they were, what would you use it for? Who knows? Could come in handy. Handy for what? Okay, think about it. You need to plug a thing into another thing. You'll need a wire for that, won't you? Don't we have enough wires laying around the nest? <laughs> enough wires. <laughs> you are so funny, Kay. Where do you come up with this stuff? Harvest time! Uh, oh, Balut! Great job! You're welcome! Booyah! Ready? Uh. Are you okay? They're up to something. This one's ready! Yep! Your turn! I got this! Uh -huh. One left! On your mark! Go, go, go! Three, two, one. Now! You know what to do. On it. Let's get it over with. And done. We make a good team. Uh, are we eating soon? Are you already hungry? I'm just looking ahead. talking this is exactly what an unknown planet should feel like have you ever seen this color grass oh yeah it's Savannah. only a blood what's up did you get a cold i told you you have to cover up your butt at night it's a prime target for colds <coughs> do you need a hanky <coughs> okay should i start to worry i'm okay i'm okay I think my allergies are acting up. You have allergies? Apparently. This is quite unfortunate. You'll pass. 
I just need my immune system to acclimatize itself. You want to backtrack? No, no, it's... <gasps> you okay? There's a sneeze stuck in my nose. You need to pull out one eyebrow hair. Huh? It'll make you sneeze. Wait, stay still. <clears throat> Ow! Are you insane? So squeamish. I didn't even manage to pull it out. Good thing you didn't. Is that sneeze still stuck? No. See? You have no reason to complain. Are you sure this one is right? It passes. Ah! A drone parking platform. I was wondering why we hadn't seen one yet. It doesn't look in too bad a shape. Yeah. It must have fallen to the ground when its gyro stabilizer ran out of flow. Uh... Weren't you just looking for one of those? A gyro stabilizer? <laughs> I was, but I need a gyro stabilizer designed for flight, not a ground based gyro stabilizer. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, first of all, the flight gyros cost three times as much. And secondly, um. Ugh, Plute! I think I've been getting scammed my whole life! Ooh. At least this one is free. So, are we bringing it home? We're bringing it home. It shouldn't be much longer. Great oaks from little acorns grow. Did you hear that? What? I don't hear it. Exactly. If we were on top, or truth, we'd be overrun with mosquitoes at this point. Even worse if we were on beauty. But right now, not one buzzing insect. Not a single sting. Nothing. That is one thing from the apiary I will not miss. Is there anything from the apiary that you are gonna miss? Hmm... Living carefree, maybe? Not that I'm regretting leaving. It's just that... Well, I did grow up in rather comfortable conditions. 
I was coddled, protected. I never had to second guess myself. Mind you, I was clearly not happy, but that was normal to me. It never occurred to me to question it. Now, here, and with you, I do believe that I am happy, but it's completely different. Now I know that everything could fall apart at any time, that I could lose it all. It's a thought that is permanently running in the back of my head. That is something I would gladly live without. Hmm. What if you could get rid of this anxiety, but in exchange you have to live again with the mosquitoes? No, I'm still not changing. So, if your anxiety is less worrisome than a mosquito, can we say that everything is fine? Yes, everything is fine. Okay. Right. I'm not. That means they're all gone. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Keep on going, my love. You're strong. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. You know I'm able to count on my own, right? Yeah, but I like to watch when you do push-ups. That way I feel like I'm participating. You could also do push-ups. <laughs> no. No need for that. I am naturally muscular. There's no such thing as naturally muscular. For real? Arm wrestle? <laughs> no. It's a trap. If I win, you'll complain that I hurt your arm. And if I let you in, I'll be hearing about it for weeks. Ding ding ding! Win by default. See? Naturally muscular. We're getting close to the fragment that the Hornets flagged. If we're going to find a communications post anywhere, that's the place.
though it's kind of chilly up here. Yeah, we should have packed you a little sweater. This is giving me a great recipe idea. No spoilers! Headway. feeling that hornets are gonna pop up at any moment. That's why we need to remember it. Again? Do it again? Easy now. I think you're... No doubt about it. The apiary went all out with this colonization. Have you ever seen such a large vid chat? Yeah. I used to know someone who had one like this on his roof terrace. Was it you? Oh, no. Ours wasn't that big. The one at the house was about half that size. Oh, yeah. Tiny. Do you think this one still works? This should allow us to get in touch with Arena, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Every little bit helps. Picking up. This one doesn't look very good. Let's not judge based on appearances. Right. Why stop here? Can you leave us alone? Ready when you are. All set. Are you okay? Awesome. On your mark. Now. Stunned. It's go time. That worked! Hey, have a bit. Ready when you are. Ready. This one's ready. Yep. You block. One down. One left. Oh, balloon! Aha! In 
your face! Ready? Go, go, go! You! You? Yep, saw that! That was easy! Good thing we don't have to scrub. Seen anything now? Nothing. It's all black. Hmm. And now? Ah, there's a bit of white noise. And now? White noise and some skips. And now? Now it just skips. Oh. Uh... Oh. What did you just do? I did nothing at all. Then keep on doing nothing. I think the image just got clearer. Okay, I think it's all good to go. Are you ready? Never been readier. This has to be the first time I'm actually eager to talk to my mother. Uh. Arena listening? Uh, Mom? You? Is that you? Uh, yeah, me and Kay. Hello. Where are you two? Are you doing okay? Uh, we're on Source? And... Oh, no. Did you really make it to Source? Hmm. You need to leave right away. The Council has ordered Hornet drones to be sent on your trail. Yeah, we know that. We have, uh, taken care of it. <sighs> you are completely insane. They started it! It's even worse than I thought. What? What? What is worse? Can you just tell me what's happening? <sighs> After you disappeared, the Council issued an advisory notice about you. That was a bad idea. People started to imagine things. That you might have managed to fall off the apiary's radar. That you might be starting a new life together in outer space against the decisions of the matchmaker. What crazy thoughts. This is no joking matter, Kay. You two have become a symbol. People are talking about following your lead. The Council cannot allow this to happen. And then there was this signal coming from a supposedly abandoned planet. Listen, you need to come home immediately. I can fix all of this. I can placate Lord Ozius. What? Why Lord Ozius? Because he's furious. What did you expect? I don't understand. Don't tell me that you're not aware. Aware of what? There are a lot of things we weren't aware of. Here's a random one. Source was colonized? <sighs> yes, that is another issue. You weren't supposed to see that. See what, exactly? <sighs> what have you seen? Quit stalling. What happened on Source? Why aren't people aware of what happened in this colony? Why is everything deserted? Okay. Yes, Exanova has contributed to the settlement of a colony on Source. At the time, I was only Vice President. And no one knows because it happened differently. Rather than integrating the planet to the apiary, they decided to make a, a sort of an external colony. What does that mean? It means that they only came in to plunder the flow. It's a little more complex than that. Uh-huh. But yes, broadly speaking, that's it. Exanova had just completed work on a new experimental power plant. Its drill could extract flow directly from the planet's core, then the flow was condensed to make transport easier. Huh. That seems dangerous. As long as the plant is properly maintained, it's safe. And then? The plant was not properly maintained. After about 30 years, the infrastructure started to age. 
The president of Exanova at the time figured that replacing it would be too costly. Well, you saw the end result. The rust? I'm sorry? The rust. That red stuff. It's everywhere. Oh, that. Sure, kind of. But what I meant was the explosion. The capacitor tank started to develop a crack. The flow became unstable, which triggered a chain reaction into the core, and... Did you? Hold on. You precipitated the explosion of an entire planet just for some flow? It's an unfortunate chain of events, which... And the people. The people who lived and worked on Source. What happened to them? Most of them were evacuated, but some weren't so lucky. I would love to give you more details, but you don't have a lot of time. The Council has decided to make an example of you. If they catch you here, there's nothing I can do for you. But if you come back now, I could probably smooth things over. We'll match you up with your respective mates. We'll get you to read a disclaimer letter. We'll make something up. Everything will be back to normal. What if we don't want it to be back to normal? I understand your frustration. I remember my younger years, but you must also think about others in the long run. The matchmaker may not be the best system, but it's the least bad that we found. Do you want to go back to the days of the Mark? Recreate the inequalities that the Elders have worked so hard to erase. You really think you're much happier now? That's great. But your selfishness has already left two other people in the dust. So now, can you imagine if everyone did what you did? Everyone would be happier. Of course not. Sure, everyone loves to complain about the matchmaker every now and then. But everyone is a lot more scared of what the alternative might be. The matchmaker is a guarantee. It ensures what we are building together will not crumble beneath our feet. The promise of a future. Durable. Everlasting. Can you say that you'll hold that promise? Absolutely. We love each other. But you will also love your mates. And they will love you back. Love does not have to be a large fire which consumes everything. You have to build it. You have to keep it alive. Just like the chimney fires in fairy tales which keep us warm in the winter. Isn't that kind of love at least as beautiful as yours? Huh. You. Have you ever in your life had to question the love that your mother and I had for each other? Was it any less than the one that you share? No. But... Love is greater and more complex than you can imagine. Love always finds a way. You will always find a way as well. We'll have to act fast to clean up your mess. Our mess. What mess? Is love a mess? Living together, is that a mess? You know very well that's not what I meant, Kay. No, I do not. Come on, you. Let's go. No, wait, you can't! I'm sorry I insisted on contacting her. I didn't think that... I know. Kay. Do you mind if we go back to the nest? I'm not really feeling up to, um, up to anything, actually. You know what? You're right. Let's go home. Are you okay? You haven't said a word the whole trip back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a lot to take in. I can't believe my mom hid all this from me. This whole time. Get in here. At least now we know. That's what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. There's still one thing I don't really understand. She mentioned Lord Ozius at one point. I don't understand what that Boron has to do with all this. He's too young to have been involved in the whole secret colony thing. I mean, sure, he's pretty tight with the council. But I still don't get how this is any of his business. I... Uh, I... Uh... I think I know. Oh yeah? Do you promise you won't get mad? What? Why would I get mad? It's about the guy I was matched with. Who cares about that guy, though? Right. Uh, uh, I mean... Hold on. 
Are you telling me that Ozius is your partner? Um... Ozius? The Ozius, Blute Hole in Chief. The very one. And you are telling me now? You said you didn't care who my mate was. Because I thought that it was some random person, not one of the most influential and demented people in the apiary. You never considered that I might find this tidbit to be important? I was scared you would change your mind if I told you. I might have changed my mind, yes. Fleeing the apiary is one thing, but Lord Ozius is a maniac. You humiliated him by refusing the match. He'll never give up on us. I humiliated him? We left together in case you missed it. It was your idea! Because I'm the one who is being matched up with a psychopath, yes? Please explain how that's my fault. All I'm saying is that you could have told me. It's also a matter of establishing trust, you. You know, just five minutes ago you were complaining about your mom hiding stuff from you. But you're doing the exact same to me. Obviously, you got that from her. Yeah, well I have no idea who you're taking after, but I understand why they no longer wanted you. Wow. Seriously? Couldn't pick a better angle? Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh yeah? What did you mean then? I don't know! You're raising your voice? I'll raise mine! It just came out. Well, let me tell you that I'm quite shocked by what just came out. Is that how you spoke to Ozius? Okay. That's it! Go bloot yourself, Kay! I don't want to hear from you! Works for me. I have nothing left to say. You? You? Where are you hiding? You? <sighs> okay, well, great. All right then, I don't care. I have the nuts to myself. I don't really want this right now. I don't really want anything, actually. <sighs> okay, you. You won. I, I can't stay mad at you. Come back. Let's talk about this calmly. You? Use the one who took the radar. 